What's up, everybody? Um, Delvin W here. Started this channel, man. Real house heads. <clears throat> it's something I think that's overdue. I think it's something that um, I just got. I got. I got to devote my time to to uh, prom you know, just doing my part to promote um, house music um, as much as I can. So that's that's why I started this this um, this channel. It's going to be sent around the house community and the house community only. Um, only real and true house heads, full-time house heads. Um, and by full-time, I mean, you know, eight hours a day, <laughs> you know, five days a week, 40 hours, you know, full-time. This is what I listen to. Um, <clears throat> you could be part-time, you know, whatever, rap or jazz, whoever, but full-time. House music, that's me. So I um, decided to start the channel. Um, and mostly what we're going to be doing, just, just just listen to music. Just listen to the house and um, sharing the track, you know, the ID list and track IDs rather than, um, you know, highlighting different artists. Um, highlight different labels, you know, different remixes, stuff like that. So <clears throat> it's really just marketing and advertising for um, the house community, you know. So that's I think that's important. I think we are lacking that, and I want to fill that void as much as I can. So, um, you know, like I said, you know, with that being said, just just um, playing music, you know. And these are the record I'm doing recorded now, re recorded um um recorded uh shows now um the live shows will be you know once we, you know if this this actually takes off and we get subscribers and stuff like that it's literally, it's literally the first show so i'm not i don't know what to expect but irregardless you know um we'll, i'll be doing the recorded sessions now and uh moving forward if we need to get into um live i want that's my desire to get into a live one-on-one -on -one you know, where I may get a stream yard or whatever and and bring on a panel and we just talk about house music, you know, different different artists, different um songs from different places, different times. And we just come together and form our own community, our own househead community. That's that's what I wanted to do. And um that's what I decided to do. So with that being said, um we're gonna be listening to a couple of tracks today. Some of them, I know one. This first one definitely is playing. Um, I was just just in there chilling. I was like, man, play some some Theo. I, I love Theo Parish, and um, that's pretty much that's what we're gonna check out today with Theo Parish today, and and um, we're getting to some Digo and. Uh, Katie Tatum or Katie Tatum. Uh, we'll get into some, um, probably some Alton Mill or something like that. You know, just kind of uh, branch out and just touch on just, you know, as many artists as we can. And um, I'm not going to take up too much, maybe 30 minutes, something like that per show. Nothing, nothing too elaborate, you know, and I'm going to actually um, go back and put these links and track ids in the chat you know so or in the description uh, so people can you know if you're looking 10 years from now you'll know exactly what they are and be able to link straight to it and and, and buy it you know we need to support our own um it's it's enough of us dancing the house music and not buying house music real house heads support the artists real heads house real house heads buy records real house heads buy um uh mp3s real house head stream or you know saying we, we gotta do better as far as supporting the artists and supporting these labels that's what oh, that's what real house heads do and uh that's what we're gonna do um with that being said let's check this out um it should be loud and clear I'm gonna turn up just a tad, but yeah, this is what you're gonna ask for, Theo Parish. 
his mix, and it's on his label, Sound Signature. It's Theo Parrish, um label. I, I know it's been up for at least, shoot, probably 15 years, maybe somewhere in there. So that's probably the, that's probably gonna be one of the first album um, uh, record labels that we just just click on record. Let's click on it and let's see what they got. Let's, let's just listen, you know. And if you hear anything you like, buy it, you know. If not, then it's cool. Don't buy it. Um, but um, with that being said, let's let's get started with this one. All right. Banger, buy it. Um, ain't nothing really to talk about on that one. That's just a banger, point blank. Period. Um, that's a banger. So uh, also another thing too. Um, when I'm playing stuff and I'm I'm most of the stuff I haven't heard. So I just really just literally logged in and the first thing I saw I just decided to play it. But um, even if it's something that I'm, I'm not a fan of or something I may not buy. I'm not finna be the one to be dissing people and oh that's that's corny that's crappy nah man, um it's all imagination and creativity, and if one person don't like it, ten other people may like it. So that's why uh, I'm gonna just play it, man. You know, um of course nobody's gonna like everything. That's just not gonna happen. But you also can be kind and not be dissing people as well. So. All right, with that being said, let's go to Alton Miller. Um, oh, this is on Sound Signature as well. Oh, this just came out. Um, August. Last year. Let's try. I never heard it, so let's go. It's the yes, pain of love, the wrong one, give it up.
That's solid. That's solid. <clears throat> Dollar fifty. Let's do it. That's solid. Um, instrumentals. I usually don't really do instrumentals, especially if it's a vocal with it. I will listen to I don't know thirty seconds or whatever. Solid, 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 solid. Um, we'll listen to one more, and all these on on Sound Central. We'll listen to one more. Um, we'll listen to one more. I want to check that out. I will listen to one more. The beautiful thing about house music, man, you're not gonna listen to all of it. It's just it's impossible. So we'll listen to one more to see what's going on. All right, Cornbread and Corey Shells for Bertha. This just came out as well. Um, in August of last year. Let's try it. banging that's banging uh the album is seven dollars very very cheap i mean special for six tracks seven dollars buy it let's see let's keep going okay so this style right the cadence of it the beat of it this is classic theo parish and if you go through the sound signature um, catalog, you'll see that on this this right here, you boom, 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 doom, 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 It was a uh, interview I saw. What's this guy? His name. His name is Worldwide. Um, very famous DJ, but Theo Parrish is on there, and the guy called. I'm gonna think about it when we when, when I close the show out. But the guy called him uh, the Warrior of 110. And you see, there's 110 BPM, man. And, and usually with house music, it's around 123, 125. You may even have some, most of the kind of 120-ish, you'll see that. And Theo just kind of changed that whole thing up. I mean, we can go through his whole catalog. He probably got maybe 
10, 15 percent of his catalog is around 110. You know, so that's why I call him Warrior to 110. And let's go. <laughs> alone. Eighteen minutes. <laughs> ah, eighteen minutes. Let's go. And he made both of these for an album only, and which was smart marketing. See, this is what I mean by marketing, right? Uh, he didn't make these available for. You know, you could buy for a dollar forty nine. No, you need to buy the whole thing. Seven dollars. That's we got seven dollars to spend. You know, so buy the whole thing. I like it. smooth I'm, I'm pretty sure it's got to. i've never heard it never heard it but i guarantee you it's going to be transitions and changes um somewhere down the line i'm sure it's not 18 18 and a half minutes of that right so i'm uh, it's going to build and he, he he's done that his whole career you know he'll start out real simple and then by the time he finishes he's somewhat listen to change it matter of fact uh well no i don't want to Listen to changes, changes to your parish. You understand what I'm saying? He'll start out one way, and then by the time it's it's over, he's somewhere in a whole other planet. But all right, play through moon. Let's go. And this is gonna be the last one. We're gonna go to um, just something else, just perusing. <laughs> I'm gonna buy this album as well. Um, I think everybody, if you devoted a dollar fifty cent every day, 
or at least five times a day. So roughly, what is that? Seven dollars, seven dollars a week. Everybody, you're a real house head between six, seven, one dollar. It don't matter. Buy one song a week. Man, that's better than, and that's better. That's more a song than you probably ever bought in your life, right? You know, we can't be buying all these, these, you know, Usher and Beyonce, and we're not buying the stuff that we actually rocking and we listening to. You know, we can't support the artist that's that's giving us the the, the music we love and and been rocking for 20, 30 years. You know, when did Can You Feel It come out, Larry Heard? It was like 85, 86 or somewhere in there. You know what I'm saying? And we still rocking it. Doom, 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 doom. We still rocking it, man. So these these songs are going to be rocking forever. The Beyonce song, you're going to be rocking that for another three weeks. And it's over with. Anyway, that's my rant. Let's go. Parish man, uh, album just came out last year. Y'all support seven bucks. Um, we should be able to do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, at least buy one one track off there. At least one. That's it. Just buy one. Um, if not the whole thing, everybody just buy one. But I was saying, music is my life. Yeah, this is classic. Not classic. It just came out, but <clears throat> it's a great app. Uh, great joint.
Okay. This is from the album Expansions in the NYC. Right? You can see it. Well, I'll probably just zoom in. It's very small. And I'm not going to zoom in more on that. That's fine. Um, But yeah, this album here has a lot of heat on it. Matter of fact, I play. I'm um check that. See that that's that's why house music is so great, man. Because you go on from one to another, to another, to another, and, and and it's like six degrees separation, you know. Um. Um. Let me see one. So we have a a, a joint here every year. Adult skate. Um, party here in Atlanta. It's a uh, DJ Kemet, Kyle say. And um, um, oh man, he just moved. He just moved from uh, Cullen, Cullen Cole, but he, he just moved DJ Cullen. But I, um, I don't know what, what uh, he might have moved like Nevada or something like that. He just moved like a couple of years ago, Cullen. So um, real dope man in this spot underground in Atlanta. It was not. It's like an underground club. Pretty much that's what it is. And um, during DJ Kimmett's set, he played um, Joy Universal. He played this one right here. And I <clears throat> I never heard it before he played it. This was January. This is like last month. So this is this is what he's playing. So that's it, man. So he's playing in the club. I mean, I was I ran up to the to the uh, to the stage and asked him, man, what is that? You know, he told me. But um, yeah, Joy Universal. That's this is um Josh Milan. Um he did this track. Josh Milan. Also another dope, real dope track, Seven Mile. Me Moody Man. Moody Man, Seven Mile. You know, Moody Man, uh, sorry, Seven Mile is a street in uh, Detroit. And you know, that's where Moody Man is born and raised. That's where he going to die there. That's one guy that's going to die in Detroit. <laughs> Period. I mean, that dude love Detroit, man. But this is, yeah, Seven Mile. He's singing on this one too, man. It's real dope. Let me know when you, let me know when you push that record button, baby. Yeah. Mm. Oh, we on right now? Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Now, you know you're the baddest motherfucker around here. I don't care about
right. So yeah, Jean Perez. Jean Perez. Axel Tosca. Axel Tosca's a cat, man. I think I think he in Brazil somewhere. I don't know where he at. But um I don't believe he in America. I think he in Brazil or something. Man, this dude is ridiculous, man. He do a lot of production with um with Louis. A lot of production. So it's a nut see, I mean this Man, I love house music. So this is why I love it so much. Man. This is why you gotta be a... Uh, if you know a thing about Gene Perez, and this website is uh, Discogs, right? So, um, Gene Perez has been doing, he been doing, well, you see, look at that. That's how long he been playing. You know, so, um, that's got to, I don't know what year that is. <laughs> that might be the 80s, maybe. I mean, he's been doing it for a long time. Gene Perez is a legend. Um, Axel Tosca, though, he, he's the man. And uh, Moody Man did the, just talking over, man, but he, subtle singing, but he's talking, talking his talk. And uh, this is a dope album as well. Um, There's plenty of albums, I mean, plenty of um, tracks on here you can buy. I, I suggest buying the whole thing, 15 bucks. But let's just say you like, I know you like the, I know you like at least three of these tracks. So Music of My Life, Seven Mile, Joy Universal, and, you know, I'm not going to play all of it because, I mean, I mean, I can, but I'm not. It's it's, it's a lot. It's deep burn. As they go, at, that's actually, listen, I got a rocket. You know, if, if, y'all know anything about deep burn. Deep burn is one of the, I mean, legendary house matter of fact let's play that and then we'll come back to axel's um uh rendition if you will Mm-mm. no the original deep burnt man Um, is it not? They don't have it on there. Oh come on, that's fine. Um, Pepe Braddock. Do 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 do. I want I want the edit. I want like the original. Um hmm. It's Pepe Braddock. I'm not gonna play it on YouTube at all, because you forget that. Um let's go. Let's let's try this. Yeah, it's probably so popular that they, they, they it's, it's probably like LP only or something. I don't know. There's no way possible that you can mention his name and not mention that. It just it ain't gonna work. So yeah, he probably it's well again marketing. It's good marketing. Um, if he did it like that, that's good marketing, man. If you have so well, you probably on the you can only buy it, you know, on twelve inch. Great marketing, but this is it.
I mean, so, I mean, do I need to keep going? Like, you know what I'm saying? Do I need to keep going? Y'all, I mean, you could buy the whole album, like for real. Like, no, no, no kidding around. I mean, by the time you, I mean, it's 15 bucks. By the time you buy 10 of them, you should have, you, you could have went on about 22 of them. That's how, that's how many hits are on his album. And all of his albums usually look something like that. Usually have that, you know, 10 to 15 different joints you could play at any time. You know, Louis Vegas, uh, of course, he's a genius, you know. Been he been that been that for twenty five thirty years, but um, yeah. So that's that's another. So I mean, the the way house music is set up, man, is is just you just go from artist to artist to label to label, um, and by the t- that's why I kind of love track source and. You know, just the the randomness of it. The YouTube started that where you could pick one track and then you'll have thirty tracks that you could listen to that's kind of based off that one track. So that's how Track Source and Beatport, all those places, have it set up. Which I which I definitely, definitely, um, I'm a fan of. Uh, Timmy Richardson, you know, he been doing it since the '80s. You know, charisma, same thing. All these, I mean, just Ruben, Ruben, Ruben. Um, is based in Atlanta. He's in Atlanta. Uh, Ruben is based in Atlanta. Yep. Um, real cool, real cool guy. Um, we'll do one more and then we'll end the show. I'm, where we at now? Yeah, forty minutes. So yeah, I think I think thirty minutes, thirty thirty five minutes is. Per show is good enough, um, cause we definitely gonna have we have. Oh, I, I didn't even never. Well, we'll end with this one right here. We'll end with this one right here. This is new coming. I ain't even out yet. Coming out in a what a couple of days. Next week, matter of fact, it's coming out next week. So, um, and with the promos, how they work, you could get them. Um, but if you get individual tracks, as you see, it goes from one dollar, one forty nine to two forty nine, if you want them early. And most of the time, they'll be out like shoot a month, two months early. You know, compared to you know, I'm sorry, they'll be in this form, the promo form, like a month, two months. You know, before they drop down to a dollar forty nine, and you as a DJ or whoever can. Can can pick them up, you know. But uh, again, that's marketing. That's that's how it works. That's how it should work. You know, if you want the tracks early, you gotta pay. But it's always gonna be in your best interest to just buy the whole album. So let's just say you know you 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 listen to this album. You got three out of four you like. You might well buy the whole album. It don't make no sense to, to just buy two fifty five dollars. That's ten dollars right here compared to seven dollars. You see what I'm saying? So it's just it's just great marketing. All right, with that being said, I never heard it. So let's go. So Patrick Adams, I've never heard of Patrick Adams, but I do know who Larry Levan is, right? So these are class. You, you hear it's a classic sound. So I'm I'm guessing Patrick Adams was probably like a disco cat or maybe an early DJ in the Paradise Garage or something like that. I never heard of him at not one time, but um, I could call Kyle with him and, and and see who that who that person who he is. But I guarantee it's probably gonna be. You know, a cat um, that may have passed away or something like that. Larry Levan, he definitely passed away years and years ago. Um, and uh, shout out to him, man. But he he was he was a staple in the house community. He's one of the originals. You know, he's one of the 
And matter of fact, I might do that on this on this app on this um show. Matter of fact, I will do this on this show. Look up Larry Levan. So let's look up Larry Levan. Maybe he's on this um uh Wikipedia or something. And then we'll just just um just just read up on who he was, you know. Right, so we'll do that on this show as well. We'll do this on this show as well. And um see, I mean, you can't call yourself a real house head. We don't know the history of house music. It's it's good. See, he died in ninety two. What was that, forty years ago? Uh uh thirty years ago. Like I said, yeah, he 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 died a while ago. But um his memory and his legacy still live. So that's one thing we're gonna be doing on this on this show as well. So I'm kind of I'm freestyling, right? I'm freestyling how the show is gonna go. Um we're gonna go through listen to some some buy one or two tracks, go through some history, then open up to the panel, and um let's just talk about what we heard and and you know what's dope out there, some things that we're rocking, and even if you're a producer. I don't know, come on, promote, promote. I'm sorry, promote your um your latest work. If you're a record label, come on, promote your latest work, your past work. Talk about your history. Talk about what got you started. They them Thorns one. Those part of Thorns one twenty five. Those part of Thorns one twenty five. Probably got the Yuri sixteen twenties mixer. I mean, this is classic. All the stuff apparatus on the back on the wall. I mean, it's, he probably was knocking that whole. He probably was knocking the whole building down, man, with all that stuff back here. But yeah, that's um, Slayer Levan. So, this is a. a let me look at Patrick Adams. Um, like I said, I never heard of him. Um, let's just say, is that him? Oh, it's probably him. Okay, yeah, Sal Soul Records, right. So Sal Soul, if you know anything about Sal Soul, is a lot of disco came out of Sal Soul, like in the seventies. Lot of well, here it is right here. You see a lot of disco, lot of disco joints on Sal Soul. So yeah, he just passed away. So that was that's oh man, thirty two gold and platinum records. That's crazy. That's craziness. That's crazy. So he's a yeah, producer, songwriter, engineer. 72 years old. Man, shout out to him, man. Yeah, shout out to him. Herbie, man. Yeah, main ingredient. Yeah, that's, that's what's up. 32 gold and platinum records. What name of artist that you, a, a, a record, a producer, what, I got, that work with 32, 32 gold and platinum? Who you know? Nah, it ain't, it ain't many. Oh, man. So, yeah. Lolietta Holloway, uh, Kelly, Keith Sweat, Teddy Riley, Salt and Pepper, Leroy Burgess. Leroy Burgess working with Ron Trent. He got maybe I think the last couple of years he put up at least at least two at least two working with Ron Trent. <clears throat> Full disclosure, Ron Trent is my idol. You know, y'all like Michael Jackson and R. Kelly, whoever. Ron Trent. So yeah, I mean this cat Patrick Adams, the man. All right, let's get back to the music, and we're gonna end off this.
dope. That's dope. Um, Change Your Mind, Bernard Fowler. Check it out. Mm, yeah. It's, no, man. Y'all know this classic. This is this is early 80s when the drum machine, all that stuff started coming in. This is classic. I like this joint already. Only do it for Louis. Only do this for Louis. change your life man you gotta change your mind you gotta change your mindset you gotta change your mindset i like it i like it true words all right atmosphere strut not bad and dj spinner um yeah he been doing it 30 years maybe somewhere in there um, he's been producing, and he does uh, like some neo soul. I mean, he, he's uh, he's hip hop neo soul house. He does a lot of production. He'll bring in people and and lay down some tracks, and I'm pretty sure that's what happened with this one, man. Let's do that. Chemi, EP. Check it out. Louis Vega. Oh, he released it on Nervous. Okay. I thought he did expansions in, in NYC and on Nervous as well. Um, Yeah. Check it out. <clears throat> All right, we have 53 minutes, 54 minutes. I think that's a very good inaugural episode of Real House Heads. And if you're a real house head, this is what you'll be doing for the majority of your day. You know, 
um, discovering new things, discovering new, um, just new, just new house music, new artists. And again, we're going to insert the historical aspect to it. You know, we read on Patrick Adams. We read on um, Larry LeVan. You know, so we got to know our history to be able to to proceed. So those cats, Larry and Patrick, they deserve to be talked about and mentioned in history. And we shouldn't let them, you know, let all that stuff fade away. No, we keep them them alive, you know. With that being said, we're going to conclude here. Uh, I think it's a very good show. Uh, hopefully you were entertained. Hopefully you you uh, bought some music. Uh, hopefully you learned some some new things. Um, looked at some of these artists you saw on the, on the screen and Google them. You know, support them. It'll take you. Uh, I mean, it'll just be like a Ron Trent. I mean, how many? I'm gonna end on this. I'm gonna end on. I'm in on this. So you'll know exactly how long it will take you. You got 308 tracks. 308. You know how long it'll take you? To, so you, you'll you have plenty of time. Plenty of, this This will occupy plenty of time. Plenty of your time. You know, uh, plenty. So, yeah, just, just, I mean, it's all on you. So, it's, you know, whatever you want to. Occupy your time when you can, but house music can definitely occupy your time. <laughs> Discovering new stuff and, uh, again, using a six degree of separation. So you go from Ron Trent to, you know, um, Lars Barkin. He's a he's a labor head of, of knees music, right? So you you look at these joints, you listen, you listen. Oh, well, who is, who is, who is Lars? And then you'll look and see um, his label is Needs, N-E-E-D-S. Hmm. I don't see. It's all good. It don't matter. But, um, yeah, maybe he's just doing all vinyl or something. I don't know. Let me see. It's got to be. Needs. I think it's Needs Music. No, it might be. Need. Let's look at Needs. And it's going to be a. I guess Needs. Yeah, he. I guess he don't have it on here. He doesn't have Needs. But Needs is his. Le- Let's look up Lars. Discogs. See, there you go. Needs music. That's his. That's his uh, label. Let's see, I'll blow this up. Yeah, his label is Needs. There you go. Right. Cause I know I ain't crazy. So um. <clears throat> That's his joint, Needs Music. And yeah, by the time you go through Needs, and you'll be like, man, all this stuff I got to listen to. So he got 34 pages of music. 30, oh no, not 34. He got 34 releases, I'm sorry. Got 34 releases. And by the time you finish this stuff, man, you, you've been discovered so much new stuff. And it ranges from 2020, just like, all the way back to 99. So, yeah, basically 20 years they've been doing it. Oh, man, Boob Jazz. One of the greatest. Man. Anyway, uh, but this this is what I do, and this is, this is why I decided to share it because it's so addictive and Oh, that midnight ceremony suite. I mean, this is this is just. Um, matter of fact, I'm, I'm gonna play it on the next show. I'm playing this on the next show. Man, you, this this track is absolutely ridiculous. Midnight ceremony. 
Um, but anyway, um, yeah, we're definitely going to be in the show now. And um, thank you all for joining. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And you understand how addictive it is. And you understand how um, uh, how passionate people can get about house music and et cetera, et cetera, right? So with that being said, man, thank you all for joining. And um, we look forward to having you all back on the next one. You know, share, like, subscribe, et cetera, et cetera. That being said, peace.